Hey, sis. Yeah? Will you do the honors? I'm at your mercy. You can make me into a slut. And Mother Teresa of Calcutta, the future saint. I don't think Mother Teresa wore makeup. She should have. <laughs> Lips. What color? Autumn. Mm-mm. Black Lily. I gotta get that lipstick that doesn't smear the glass when you drink. Is he taking you out to dinner as well? He wants to, but he's not ready for my table manners. His daughter is blind. I'm sure he's understanding. His daughter and a woman are not the same thing. First, I have to approve his bedroom manners. Endurance, perseverance, spirit of sacrifice. That's from Amy Vanderbilt's complete book of etiquette. We're just gonna have a drink after the concert. I see. Mm. Any more on your dead friend? No. No one claimed the body. Yeah, I smell a rat. What makes you so sure there's a man? I'm not sure of anything, but you know how I love the worst case scenario. <sighs> Find any photographs? No, no photographs at all in the house. How coy. Did you check the garbage? All the trash cans were empty. Mm, address book? There wasn't one. <laughs> Glass slipper? You're done. Do you think it's an option for a blind girl to get plastic surgery? How are my nails? They're good. I would be lost without you, sis. Uh, that's my boy. Can you get it? I gotta go pee. Yeah. What's his name, anyway? Walter, can you believe that? Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Walter. I'm Carol's sister. Hi. Hi. Uh, sorry, Carol didn't tell me your name. Uh, I'm Kathy. Oh, nice to meet you. Carol's going to be out in a minute. Thanks. Uh, Carol tells me you have a, a beautiful daughter and smart. Yes, and funny. But don't get me started. I'll bore you. Hi. Hi. You look great. Thanks. So do you... <laughs> you almost have me there. How's you look, sis? Looks good. Yeah? Handsome? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, you smell good, too. Let me get my cane, just in case Walter needs it to beat me. And we're on our way. See you later, sis. Nice to meet you, Kathy. Yes. <laughs> um, if you'd like to join us later after the concert, that'd be great. No, nope. Kathy would rather watch television. See ya. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Just as the door opened, a gust of wind picked up the little paper dancer and blew her into the stove. The next day, the maid was cleaning out the oven and found him in the shape of a heart. But nothing remained of the girl. That was very good, June. Did you know that coal miners used to keep canaries underground? That way they could tell if there were gas leaks because the canaries would die. Oh, I didn't know that. My dad told me that. He likes you. I could tell right away. It's the way he talked to you. He uses that tone when he meets a woman he likes. He speaks slowly and agrees with everything she says. He does that with you. Have you noticed? No, I haven't noticed. Do you think he'll ask you out on a date? I don't know, June. You might want to ask him. He asked you out already. Is that it? Would it bother you if he had? Only if you accepted. But I don't think there's any real danger. 
He's still in love with Mom, and nothing's going to change that. Do you live alone? No, I live with my sister. Where does she work? Uh, she's a detective. Wow, that's cool. Is she single like you? Yes. I mean, she's not blind, of course. Why isn't she married? I guess she just hasn't found the right man yet. Maybe she didn't want to leave you all alone, is that it? That would be wrong, of course. I think a blind person's perfectly capable of living on her own. Don't you? I didn't want to be nosy about you, my dad. But if he hasn't asked you out, it's for the better. He's usually all lovey-dovey with them at first. Then he drops them like a hot potato. <laughs> like a hot potato. Isn't that a funny expression? Mm -hmm.